Yo, everybody, what's up? What's going on? What's good? Checking in here. I want to talk about this one. It looks like reports are coming out that Frank Sanchez Farag is going to work with another trainer. And this other trainer is Joe Goosen. Yep, that's right. The same Joe Goosen that is currently the trainer of lightweight Ryan Garcia. And that's the second person that goes over to Joe Goosen from Eddie Reynoso and the Canelo team. Now, is it permanent? I don't know. But kind of like says, hey, um, is it something where Eddie Reynoso has too many fighters to handle. I don't know. But, you know, you've seen a couple of other fighters that have, you know, left that particular camp, you know, over the past couple of years. Um, of course, you know that Eddie Reynoso is the head trainer of Canelo Alvarez, head trainer, you know, of you know, Oscar Valdez, uh, head trainer for Andy Ruiz Jr. Uh, like I said, you had the thing there with Frank Sanchez for Ray you know, um, among others, you know, we had Ryan Garcia, um, and had like, you know, a few other fighters that, you know, ended up leaving, you know, uh, but, you know, kind of like says, Hey, is it looking like more and more that Eddie Reynoso has a little bit too much on his plate? I don't know. I mean, he is like kind of like the manager for Canelo Alvarez, not just the trainer, but the manager for Canelo Alvarez. So whatever he says goes when it comes to the moves that Canelo Alvarez makes. Uh, but outside of that, you have these other fighters that you're working with, you know, and the thing about it is, is that, hey, um, if I got to work with Canelo and manage Canelo and, you know, deal with all of that, Plus, you know, deal with Andy Ruiz Jr. and deal with Frank Sanchez and Oscar Valdez and, you know, at, the, at one point, Ryan Garcia um, and multiple others. That's, that's like a lot. And if you think about it, you know, in hindsight, check this. You had that little thing there where one week you were having to prepare Oscar Valdez for his fight against Shakur Stevenson. And also around the same time, you have Canelo Alvarez who had to prepare for Dimitri Baval. That's a lot. And for fights of that magnitude, you really gotta have something where you could really take the time and focus on, you know, getting your fighter prepared for a match of that magnitude, whether it's against Shakur Stevenson or against Dimitri Baval. Um, and, you know, maybe that was like, I guess a little bit too much for Eddie Reynoso to handle. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. Um, but now with the reports about Frank Sanchez uh, leaving to join Joe Goosen, looks like, um, hey, maybe it's just to the point where some of these fighters can't get everything they need to get in order to prepare for fights that they have upcoming by being with Eddie Reynoso. If Eddie Reynoso has multiple fighters, multiple world champions or former world champions that he's dealing with, you know, and that's going to be something that people are going to watch for here in the future in reference to Eddie Reynoso. I know that uh, Eddie Reynoso with Canelo Alvarez, of course, within a few months, from now, Canelo Alvarez is going to be preparing for his fight against Gennady Golovkin. And we got to see what's going to be going on with Andy Ruiz Jr. Uh, they say he's going to be fighting Luis Ortiz, but I don't know. You know, I'm thankful for the opportunity to fight Luis Ortiz, you know. But, hey. We'll see if that particular fight happens or if it gets announced or whatever it is. Maybe it'll be uh, sometime in mid-July, uh, probably after um, the uh, fight that was supposed to be scheduled uh, between Mark McSayo 
and uh, Ray Vargas uh, that's supposed to be for the WBC featherweight title uh, that's in July. But then after that, maybe we'll have the thing with Ruiz and Ortiz. But that remains to be seen if that's going to happen now. But on that note, we're going to close this particular topic in reference to Eddie Reynoso because it looks like, I mean, he does have a lot on his plate. And proverbially, I don't think he's able to eat all that's on the plate. And maybe he has to, you know, cut off a couple of portions here and there in order to handle what he has on the plate. So maybe having this thing here with Frank Sanchez uh, being under the tutelage of Joe Goosen, that might, you know, help Eddie Reynoso out with the other fighters that he currently has on his table. You can share your thoughts in reference to this particular topic here on this video. You can comment on it. You could, you know, like. And if you haven't done so, you can subscribe to the Boxing Source YouTube channel. We really appreciate it. On that note, folks, I'm out. Peace.